Hello everyone and welcome to the Stickney Run Conservation Area here in McHenry. So I believe this thing is actually two sections. Yeah, I don't know much about this trail. I needed something close by. And I needed something shaded. I think this is where the trail split. Because it is really hot out. <laughs> so, we chose this guy. This is actually, I believe, the closest... The Henry County Conservation Area to my house. And I think there's a body of water over here. Been wanting to check this place out for a while, so we're doing it today. All right, not too bad. We have a little pond scum thing going on here. Yeah, this is definitely not a boating lake or a fishing lake. <laughs> My shoes are starting to sink into the mud there. Right, let's back up a little. Okay, why do I hear water? Okay, not a waterfall, sort of, I guess, but it's a sewer or something over there. <laughs> There's some water over there too. There is actually a path to get down there, but it's a little overgrown. I'm not gonna mess with that today. Never know what you're gonna run into. Could be poison ivy, could be ticks. So best just to avoid that. And let's see, we have another split. Oh, you know, I think this might actually be a little circle here. So let's just head this way towards the lake. See if it continues on. Okay, so no circle. But we do get a pretty good view of the lake here. Or pond, whatever you want to call it. Alright, guess we'll head back this way. We have found some educational material. All right, I think we actually have reached our little loop now. Do we take the low road or the high road? Eh, why not the high road? Oh yeah, we're deep in the woods now. Yeah, this actually goes back a lot farther than I thought. And it's a pretty easy trail to maneuver. It is not paved, but... Yeah, I think we've reached the end of the loop. It's not letting us go any farther south. So we're going to head back this way. Oh 
All right, headed back, and may as well hit that little branch that heads to the west. I'm really loving the deep woods here. All right, going downhill. Definitely some big mature trees out here. All right, we've caught up with the end of the loop. Continuing north. And we're back by the pond. All right, so that was considered the more difficult trail. I didn't really find that difficult. We started out over here, parking lot, right down there. So here's our split, and I guess we'll take the easy trail. This one seems shorter. Looks like we're already by the loop. Ooh, we have another sign. Interesting spot here. I don't know if there was a controlled burn or someone was having a fire pit. There are a lot of down trees in this area though, that is for sure. Alright, I think this is where the loop meets up. And we'll continue this way a little bit on the Moss Grove Cemetery Trail. I think it just dead ends by a street and we'll have to come back. I'm happy that we got to see a little water today, even though it was more pond scum than water. Impressive little trail. We even have a little boardwalk, bridge, something over here. You probably call it more a bridge. Pretty dry here. Well, obviously it's been dry all season as I told you now, a couple of videos. There could have been at one point a little creek that went through here. More trees down. I don't mind the non paved trails, but you gotta watch out for things like this, like this big old rock cow. Ooh, now here's a beauty. This is definitely a bridge. This is actually a really nice shaded spot here. I have a little bit of an incline here. Yeah, I think this is pretty much where it ends. Here at this. Okay, literally a cemetery. Very overgrown, and I don't know if anyone's actually buried here. There's one stone over there. Otherwise, it just pretty much lets out the street. I don't know, are we turning this into an abandoned cemetery video? Can we even get in here? Alright, we can get in. Okay, it's a little bit of a cemetery. Just a few stones over here. Okay. A couple moss groves. Well, that makes sense. We have a Mary. 
Okay, there's definitely got to be a story behind this place. Uh, I might have to research this more. Kind of neat, though. Wish it wasn't so overgrown, but... Kind of keeps everything hidden, if that's what they want. This one has a cross, but you could barely read it. Little tiny one here, maybe for a pet. JGM? I would guess another moss grove. And speaking of moss grove, Yeah, I think a family bought a little piece of land and made it their own cemetery. Interesting. Wasn't quite expecting to find any McHenry lore <laughs> when I went on the major trail today, but okay, kind of cool too. Kind of cool. Abner Wu really enjoys exploring and <laughs> vlogging cemeteries. One of the only ones that I know that likes to do that. But of course, he likes to seek out where like celebrities and historians are buried. All right, time to leave the Mosgrove family to peace. And to go back from where we came. So that's why they call it the Mosgrove Cemetery Trail. We originally came from this side of the loop, so we're going to finish off our day today going this way, I guess. Hey, we got another peak of the pond. That's cool. And I'll let you go right up to the pond. And we're already at the end of the loop, so. We've officially covered both trails. Now, this obviously does not include whatever two trails were a couple of miles to the south or whatever. Save that for another day. That's a warm one today. I'm tired of bugs attacking me, so we're going to head home. All right, click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.